I'm very excited. It's a great honor to be here. And um, I mean, it's such a big festival. And so it's a big moment for the film. And obviously with Harry involved and Emma involved, it's kind of brought a lot more attention to the project. So I feel very proud and very honored to be here. I play the older Harry Styles. Well, it's the new string to my bow I and mean, I'll take it, <laughs> you know. Um, I'm waiting for him to invite me to go on tour with him, actually. The role is divided by 40 years nearly, so it's like we're different people. So he gets to play the young man that's full of the hope of the future and opportunity, and I'm the guy that's living with the secret, uh, and yet there's a catharsis at the end. So it's like we're different people, but I very much resonated with Harry's honesty. He's very, has a great honesty in his work, and I just wanted to sort of bring my honesty to it too. It wasn't just the role, it was the whole subject matter and the story and the fact that it takes place over such a long period of time. I love movies that deal with like a whole lifetime. So it has that feeling and uh, yeah, it's dealing with heartache and heartbreak and um, I, 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 my character is very repressed. So I, I don't have all the exuberance that the younger man has. So I'm, I'm a man who's living frozen in time, living a lie really. And it's quite painful, but he's found a way to live with it. And so it was wonderful to work with Gina McKee, Marion, and we just found a way to sort of live our simple life. And then Rupert's character gets brought back into our lives, and that's the catalyst that sets everything on fire. It's good for everyone to see that culture has evolved. And even though there's many parts in the world where people are not free to love who they want to love, you know, things have moved forward, so it's a better time. This goes from the 50s to the 90s, but even to now, there's a lot of movement and it's progress and uh, we have to continue to make progress. And so I think the film honors that and sort of can also make us feel grateful that we're not living in those times where it was punitive to love who you wanted to love. Well, I hope they take away, you know, a knowledge that, um, that we're very lucky that the times we live in, as hard as they may seem, that there have been worse times. And uh, what they take away, we were talking about the film today, it's a very complex, rich, emotional film, and I think people hopefully will be talking about it long after it's over. And there's not just one thing to take away, there's a lot, it's a big takeaway. <laughs>